Okay, you may have seen this on the invite to the artist living in Parkdale group show here at Culture Shaw Gallery. Uh, drawing something different on the windows each month, and this time it's an art map of the area. And uh, it kind of goes well with the new flame box. It's very exciting as well. So let's go and take a look at the work. Immediately upon entering, you were confronted, I mean, greeted by Einar Sevster's, uh one of his robots. Uh, anyone who lives in Parkdale has seen these robots and these musical instruments, um, which he has another name for, I guess, or different names, but they basically do make a sound, and uh, he's a musician, he's part of uh, Fembots, and probably a thousand other bands, uh, and I'm really glad to have him in the show because he's a um, uh, solid uh, staple of the area, uh, a real character. Um, local artist. And uh, I like the fact that we set up this guy to be looking at the construction of Dufferin and Queen and uh, looking in on um, people entering the area. We kind of felt that this gallery is a bit of a uh, uh, gatehouse. or um, It's the first thing people now wandering into Parkdale, the suddenly trendy and hot area of Parkdale, uh, walk past here, right through the psychological barrier, no more, of the Queen Street Bridge. And uh, they walk down there and they pass by our sketchy little mall with our beautiful little gallery that they should come in and check out. And over here we have uh, Stu Play Dead. And uh, over at the Play Dead Mansion and Gwyn and uh, Milky Way. And uh, anyone who lives in this area also knows these little skull boys. Um, and uh, this is uh, Stu's work. So he's been around. He's another uh, real character of the area. PD, I guess, stands for Play Dead, but I chose this piece for the show because I thought, oh, that's great, it stands for Parkdale. Um, I wonder if they, you know, deliberately had the same initials. I don't know, probably not. But I thought this was a super cool little piece, so. And I put these together like this, because um, I like the reference to the, uh, the graffiti work, but I also uh, wanted sort of a sense of the familyness of the neighborhood, uh, so you know, then the little kitchen chair are three little kids, well, three evil little Tim Burton-esque kids, but still, there's that reference. That's my story, I'm sticking to it. Over here is Untitled by Allison Snowball. Allison owns uh, and runs Allison's, uh, or the uh, Snowball Gallery and Workshop, closer to Ronson Vale, down near Einer's Gallery, which is the uh, sixth gallery. And, uh, I think she completed this one pretty close to the opening of the exhibition here. And it was very tricky hanging this. These little bits back here are all slightly different sizes. And trying to get this all fit in without falling off the wall. <laughs> and just, you know, some of them have two nails, some of them one wall, one nail, and you push them together and they kind of hold each other up. So. Uh, when you come see the show, don't uh, don't poke Allison's painting. Over here is Mike Thompson, another Parkdale artist. He's uh, apparently does quite well um, with a uh, he doesn't have a gallery; he has art representation. So I think they have private clients and for corporate offices and such. But this is not exactly. I think he does really large abstract work for them. But uh, this is part of his Baron von Linguini. Um, a series of self-portraits, which evolved from Facebook, because I guess he was telling me he um, he keeps basically making up uh, new profiles on Facebook because he gets to a thousand friends, and then it's just too much, so he he shuts it down. He opens up another account. And he tried putting in the name Mike Spaghetti, but Facebook uh, said that that sounded like a fake name, so he entered just for the hell of it, Baron von Linguini, and it accepted that as a valid name. Um, and since then, I guess the nickname has kind of taken on a, a life of its own. Um, so there he is in a self-portrait with a orange gun as Baron von Linguini. And there are some talks with uh, Mike to uh, maybe have a show of the Baron von Linguini series uh, here next year. So I'll let you know about that. That's self-portrait. Here's another one of Einer's robots hiding out in the corner. It's pointing something that vibrates at you. Um, that's a traditional hello in, in Parkdale, by the way. Now, all 
all his robots also make sound, um, so I guess you could turn that on, but it might fly apart, so we're not going to do that right now. And as usual, we have a great assortment of boots and clothes. This is the gift shop component of the gallery here. Now here's Trevor, uh, Trevor Lalo's work. I put this in um, uh, because he represents somebody who would move into the area of Parkdale, uh, and Parkdale's helped convince him and his, his partner Lauren, and that's her work up there, um, to move into uh, to move into the area here because uh, they've enjoyed it so much and the galleries here and everything. So it's cool. And here's a uh, writing about the exhibit right here, and I've listed the names and titles on the wall instead of beside the pieces. Uh, it's not working out terribly well. People aren't really seeing this, but uh, I wanted to make a map of the show like I did on the window of the of the community. And here's one I'm very happy to have in the in the show. I'm happy to have them all, but um, it's Jen Walton, and she did a very successful show of uh, paintings of Google Maps, of different areas. And this is Sackville, New Brunswick. I've been through Sackville a lot, and I believe that's where Mount Allison University is, and she's been through Sackville a lot. Lots of people have been through Sackville a lot. Um, but did you ever think the river looked like that in Sackville? I mean, this looks like the top of a cartoon baby head. Um, it doesn't look real. Or, you know, something like someone made so the gods in the sky could see them. Um, what's also sort of interesting is, a couple of people pointed out, they could see a foot and somebody giving the finger in this in this work. So. Do you see where it is? There's the foot, and there's the finger. Really interesting, really, uh, really nice painting. It's probably hard to get on this film, but it's very detailed and lush. So we're moving along to a uh, terrific emerging artist in the area, Amy Nash. And uh, you see her work over at the Stampede Bison Grill. I chose this one to bring over, and. It's acrylic, and you can see she's she's cut away in, into it as well. And there's she's done a lot of burning to uh, make the marks, and uh, this create a really nice sort of rustic feel, which I think addresses the uh, hipsterism of the area quite well. And then moving on to the final work, which is Cher Moreau's uh, Pope, and Cher is a working um, person here who uh, works in the film industry and. She's been in Parkdale for like 21 or 22 years, and as part of the original creative class here, they could probably not afford to buy a house here now. So, the artists in Parkdale, on to the end of the month.